Qs military tech it's your tech DJ Smart 255 hapa hapa S N S and nimepokea baadhi ya simu ya washikaji na baadhi ya wana wameomba niongelee issue ya Nord Stream 2 mlipuko wa Nord Stream 2 na this time naomba tu discuss pamoja wana fuse na DJ Smart tukutane kwenye comment section so kuna mtu anaita kuna mtu anaitwa Seimo Hash huyu Seimo Hash be one of the greatest journalists or one of the greatest investigative journalists of all time and by the way kuna baadhi ya watu ambao kusema kweli mnakuwa mna, mna upeo mdogo sana kuelewa Asilimia tisini na nane ninaongea kwa Kiswahili ila asilimia mbili kuna kuwa kuna maneno ya Kiingereza na kuwa nayaongea huwezi hatuwezi tukakwepa haya maneno iwe itakavyokuwa kwa sababu kuna mengine ambayo hayana tafsiri lazima tuyatumie yenyewe kama yenyewe lakini at the end of the day pia huwa nikiongea neno la Kiingereza huwa ninakuja na tafsiri yake ya Kiswahili so guys naomba these are very petty things ni vitu vidogo vidogo tuache concentrate na hivyo asilimia kubwa ya ninachokiongea ni kwa Kiswahili na nikiongea Kiingereza huwa nakuja na tafsiri yake hizi ripoti zote zimeandikwa kwa Kiingereza unapoanza kuongelea vitu vidogo vidogo si una basi nenda kasome wewe kwa Kiingereza utafsiri wewe mwenyewe so Simon Hash huyu ni investigative journalist ambaye anaheshimika sana duniani ana tuzo ya Pulitzer ni moja ya tuzo ambazo zinaheshimika sana so ametoa ripoti yake Februari tarehe nane kwamba alielipua Nord Stream 1 and 2 ni Marekani na washirika wake na ni ripoti ambayo iko very very detailed yani imeshiba vizuri sana yani details na mtiririko na kila kitu ziko vizuri sana yani kuna neno wanasema compelling ina ina ushawishi sana sasa mimi sitaki kukwambia wewe uamini au usiamini ila nakuachia zoezi ka search same hash kuna website inaitwa Substack utaikuta hii research yote na hii report yote iko pale chukua muda wako nenda kaisome vizuri then tukutane kwenye comment section to discuss ninachotaka kujenga kwa nafuse ni mentality critical thinking tuwe tuna uwezo wa kutafakari jambo na moja ya maafa ya, ya generation yetu ni kwamba tuna elimu kushinda generation iliyopita ila elimu yetu imetengenezwa in such a way watu wasiwe logic wasio wana uwezo wa kutafakari ni watu ambao tunapewa elimu tunaichukua na kuifanyia kazi lakini we are not critical thinkers huwa hatuna yani hatujajiingia utamaduni wa kuwa ni watu ambao tunaweza tukakaa na tukatafakari na ndio maana baba wetu wa taifa alisema akili za kupewa changanya na za kwako kwamba maneno unayoambiwa yachukue alafu changanya na za kwako ili uchambue akimaanisha unachopewa sio kwamba ukikataa kichukue alafu tumia akili zako kukichambua hiyo alikuwa na groom alikuwa anatuandaa kwa ajili ya kuwa na critical thinking na hicho ndio kitu ambacho tunataka wana fuse tuwe nacho so hizi nakupa details then kawe mwenyewe fikiria cha kwanza nenda kama search Simon Hash ingia kwenye uh, report yake ukiingia kwenye site ya Substack Simon Hash how America took out the Nord Stream pipeline jinsi marekani walivyoiondoa Nord Stream pipeline pipe za Nord Stream kwa hiyo imetolewa ime February tarehe nane, nenda kaisome. Ila kwa sasa hivi nakupa tu dondoko uchach then utamalizia wewe mwenyewe kuja na conclusion yako. So naanza kwanza na point sita za muhimu. Cha kwanza kutokana na hii report sio maneno ya DJ Smart. Ilikuwa ni operation ya CIA ya Marekani ndio waliohusika na, na operation hii cha kwanza. Cha pili walitumia NATO military drills as a cover up kawaida NATO huwa kila mwaka wana mazoezi ya kijeshi. So walitumia mazoezi ya kijeshi ya Baltops ya mwaka jana kwa ajili ya kufanya cover up na kutekeleza uh, mkakati huu. Cha tatu, mabomu yalitegwa na divers wa Marekani then yakatumia mfumo wa remote detonation. Kwa maana kwamba unaweza ukayalipua kwa mbali kwa kutumia remote sio lazima uwepo mwenyewe na haya kulipuliwa pale pale cha nne ni kwamba ilikuwa ni collaboration kati ya CIA na nchi ya Norway walishirikiana kwa maana kwamba Marekani na Norway cha tano 
ambacho kutokana na ripoti hii sio maneno ya DJ Smart ripoti ya Simon Hash kwamba amri ilitoka juu kabisa katika serikali ya Marekani akimaanisha amri ilitoka direct kutoka kwa Joe Biden rais wa Marekani na cha sita ni baada ya kwamba baada ya ripoti hii kutoka ya Marekani ilikanusha tukio hili imesema kwamba hawahusiki so hayo ni mambo kuu sita ambayo inaweza nikakupa kwa ufupi kutokana na ripoti hii. So na kuachia zoezi nenda kafanye research kaitafuta uh, ripoti ya Simon Hash nimekwambia ni website gani ambayo inapatikana Substack utaikuta hii report kaisome wewe mwenyewe ripoti yote iko wazi wala haijafichwa. Sasa naomba nikutupie baadhi ya nyama then we mwenyewe utazichukua zenye nyama utaamua utizikaange uzichome uzipike mchuzi ufanye supu. Cha kwanza na narudia hasa maneno ya DJ Sma. Hii ni kutokana na hii report. Naichambua hii report. Kwa sababu ni report ndefu aa, na kurahisishia uweze kuelewa. So vitu vya msingi kutokana na hii report hii. Kwanza kwamba CIA wali plan kitu muda mrefu kuanzia mwaka 2021 kabla hata vita vianze. Na walitumia divers wa navy. Natakuja kuambia kwa nini waliamua kutumia divers wa navy. Kutokana na report ya Simon Hash ni kwamba Marekani wanachuo ambacho kinafundisha best one of the best diver school Marekani watu ambao wapiga mbizi ambao ni wabobezi na ni wataalamu so hawa ndio waliotumika kwa ajili ya operation hii there was a vital bureaucratic reason for relying on the graduates of the center's hardcore diving school in Panama City kulikuwa kuna sababu la kisheria kwa nini waliamua kutumia graduates wa hitimu wa chuo hichi cha diving school ambacho kiko Panama City The divers were navy only Wale divers walikuwa ni wanatoka kwenye kitengo cha navy peke yake I'm not members of American Special Operations Command Hawakuwa ha, members wa American Special Operations Command au maarufu kama ASOC Kwa nini whose covert operations must be reported to congress and briefed in advance to the senate and house leadership american special operations command ili uweze kuatumia lazima uende ukatoe ripoti congress na lazima uende ukaifahamishe senate ini kutokana na sheria zao ni lazima unapotaka kutumia american special forces command and house leadership Awa pia lazima pia wapewe taarifa house leadership the so called gang of eight kuna wale viongozi nane wa juu kabisa Marekani yani the top eight lazima wapewe taarifa ripoti nasema serikali ya Biden ikajitahidi tumie mbinu zo, zote na loophole zote za kuweza kukwepa utaratibu huu na kanuni hii ili kuepusha leaks kwa maana kwamba kukiwa kuna watu wengi ambao wanajua lazima kungekuwa taarifa zingevuja ili ibaki kuwa ni siri and the planning took place late in 2021 and into the first months of 2022 na plani hivi vitu ilifanyika mwisho wa mwaka 2021 kumbuka mwaka 2021 vita vilikuwa bado havijaanza na mwanzo wa mwaka 2022 so hiyo ni ya kwanza unatakiwa ujue kwamba kwa nini waliwatumia wale navy only tunakuja swala la pili why kwa nini and who benefits na nani ambaye anafaidika au kuwe bono wanasheria wanajua kuwe bono au wapelelezi wanajua maana kuwe bono cha kwanza kama mnakumbuka ripoti ya Rand ambayo tulipitia kwa kipindi cha nyuma is to overstretch and destabilize kwa hiyo hii ni moja njia ku destabilize Russia ana supply 40% ya gesi na mafuta ya euro na Ujerumani anamtegemea zaidi ya 50% ya cheap Russian gas. Cha kwanza faida hivi vitu ni kwamba Russia anapoteza income. Mapato yake yatapotea. Hiyo ya kwanza. Cha pili na ili uelewe Nord Stream, Nord Stream inatoka Urusi inaenda paka kwa Mjerumani. Mjerumani anapata gesi ambayo ni cheap lakini Mjerumani pia ana supply nchi nyingine za Europe. Kwa hiyo anafaidika yeye na nchi zingine za Europe. Ila sasa sababu ya pili ni kwa maana kwamba pamoja na, na kukata mapato ya mrusi vile vile ni, ku, ni kuinyima Ujerumani na Ulaya access 
ya kupata gesi ya bei rahisi kwa maana kwamba ina faida kwao wanapopata gesi ya bei rahisi viwanda vyao vinaweza kufanya kazi vizuri mashirika yao yanaweza kufanya kazi vizuri uh, wananchi wao wanakuwa hawa maisha yao ni mazuri so ni kuondoa hii privilege hiyo ya pili wakiondoa nani anaifaidika of course anaifaidika ni marekani currently yendo amekuwa na uzikani gesi and oil at a very exorbitant rate yani kwa bei ambayo ni kubwa sana so unatakiwa ujue kwamba kabla hivi vita kulikuwa kuna uhusiano mzuri sana kati ya Ujerumani na Ufara, na, na Mrusi. And walikuwa na shirikiana mpaka wakatengeneza the Nord Stream 2. So and Ujerumani ndo uchumi namba moja Ulaya. Ulaya ikifanikiwa influence ya Marekani Ulaya inashuka. Kwa hiyo pia moja ya, ya, ya ajenda za Marekani pia zilikuwa kwamba inabidi tumdhoofishe Ujerumani ili sisi influence yetu irudi ilipokuwa before na ya tatu ni kumlazimisha mjerumani awe mkali zaidi dhidi ya mrusi kabla ya Nord Stream mjerumani alikuwa anaongea lakini alikuwa hatumi silaha alikuwa haikuwa aggressive hakuwa mkali dhidi ya mrusi tulipitia report ya Bennett aliyekuwa waziri mkuu wa Israel alipotoa ripoti yake kwamba alivyowashirikisha marekani ujerumani ufaransa na UK kwa maana kwamba UK alikuwa aggressive Ujerumani na Ufaransa wao zaidi walitaka amani na hilo lengo limefanikiwa kwa sababu baada ya hapo nadhani umeona Mjerumani alivyokuwa aggressive anatuma silaha ana condemn sana Mrusi na vitu kama hivyo so lengo lile limefanikiwa kabla ya mlipuko wa Nord Stream hakuwa hivyo mwingine alitajwa kuhusika na hii ripoti ni, ni Norway sasa utajiuliza kwa nini Norway na Norway kaingiaje? Report ya Simon Hash inasema hivi. America also has vastly expanded a Norwegian airbase. Marekani pia imetanua kwa kiwango kikubwa bezi ya ndege za kivita za Norway. In the north upande wa north and delivered to the Norwegian Air Force a fleet of Boeing built. Na vile vile kuwapa uh, ndege aina za P8 Poseidon patrol planes to bolster its long range spying on all things Russia kwa ajili ya kuwezesha Norway waweze kufanya ujasusi dhidi ya Mrusi sio maneno ya DJ Sma haya hii ni kutokana kwenye report in return marekani wamepata nini in return the norwegian government angered serikali ya Norway ilikasirisha liberals and some moderates in its parliament kwamba kuna baadhi ya liberals watu ambao ni wazalendo na watu ambao hawana msimamo mkali katika serikali yake last november november iliyoisha bypassing the supplementary defense cooperation agreement kwa hiyo walipitisha kwenye sheria yao kwenye katiba yao norway kitu kinaitwa supplementary defense cooperation agreement sdca makubaliano ya kiulinzi baina ya norway na marekani under the new deal chini chin ya makubaliano haya the us legal system will have jurisdictions in certain agreed areas inampa haki jeshi la marekani kutumia baadhi ya maeneo norway saimo hasha anaendelea kusema kwa nini pia walishirikiana na norway back in washington kule washington planners knew wale plani hivi vitu walijua kwamba they had to go to norway lazima wamshirikishe norway they hated the russians wa norway wanaichukia uh, urusi and the norwegian navy was full of superb sailors and divers na navy jeshi la majini la norway wana wanambizi ambao ni bora sana who had generations of experience in high profitable deep sea and gas exploration norway wana uzoefu wa muda mrefu kwa ajili ya kwa ajili ya kupiga mbizi kwenye sekta ya gesi na mafuta the sources said They also could be trusted na pia hao watu wanaweza wakaaminika to keep the mission secret kuificha hii mkakati. The Norwegians may have had other interests as well. Wa Norway pia walikuwa wana interests zao binafsi. Walikuwa na maslahi yao binafsi. The destruction of Nord Stream, we haribu Nord Stream if the Americans could pull it off. Lao Marekani wakaweza kufanikisha would allow Norway to sell vastly more of its own natural gas to Europe itawezesha Norway kuuza mafuta yao na gasi yao kwa euro. Kwa hiyo unatakiwa ujue kwamba Norway pia ni, ni, ni mshindani wa Urusi, yeye pia anauza gasi yake. 
kwamba yeye ni mzalishaji na muuzaji wa gesi. So hiyo inakuja kwamba kwa nini Norway amehusika au alihusishwa kwenye issue hii? Kwanza wanawachukia urusi, pili wana maslahi yao binafsi kwa sababu wao pia wanauza gesi na walikuwa wamezidiwa kete na gesi ya mrusi. Mrusi akiondolewa wao watauza zaidi na watafanikiwa zaidi na watapata faida kubwa zaidi. Jarida la The Washington Post lina, lina report More than seven months into the war, zaidi ya miezi saba vita kuanza Ukraine, the Scandinavian country is increasingly central to Europe's energy security. Inchi hii ambayo ni Scandinavia imekuwa ni nchi muhimu sana kwa ajili ya usalama au ulinzi wa energy wa nishati wa Europe. Norway not Russia. Sasa hivi ni Norway na sio Urusi. So baada ya kulipua Nord Stream, wao ndio wamekuwa the big players sasa hivi. Norway is now the European Union leading natural gas supplier. Before Urusi ndio alikuwa ndio supplier mkubwa kwa Europe, sasa hivi Norway ndio ndo muuzaji au supplier mkubwa zaidi wa gesi Europe. The explosion that damaged the Russians Nord Stream pipelines, mlipuko ulio damage uh, pipe za Urusi za Nord Stream didn't lead to a supply crisis because the EU haikupelekea maafa ya gesi umoja wa Ulaya had cut its reliance on Russian gas kwamba ilipunguza mategemezi yake kutoka kwa mrusi kwa ajili ya gesi and was celebrating a new pipeline na walikuwa wanasherehekea pipe mpya from Norway to Poland the same week kwa wiki ambayo kulikuwa kuna mlipuko ndo wiki hiyo hiyo wao walikuwa wanasherehekea uzinduzi wa pipe yao mpya is it a coincidence wana fuse namba ni kuulizia kuuli, ni kwamba ni bahati tu imetokea kwamba huku imetokea mlipuko na huku wanazindua pipeline yao mpya na actually ilitakiwa iwanze January lakini wakaivuta na kuanzisha before even that in November Washington Post wanaendelea ku report there is no questions that the fallout from the war is making Norway richer hakuna swali lolote wala hakuna shaka yoyote kwamba hivi vita na maafa yake pamoja na kum, kumwekea vikwazo mrusi Norway anazidi kutajirika sio maneno ya DJ Sma ni Washington Post jarida ambalo linaheshimika sana uh, Marekani The state is a major player in the oil and gas industry Nchi hii ni moja wa zabuni muhimu sana kwenye oil and gas industry kat oil na gesi All told Oslo expects to bring about 109 billion from the petroleum sector this year Yaani Norway wataingiza zaidi ya bilioni tisa US dollars zaidi ya 82 billions more than in 2021 Sasa naomba tupige mahesabu Naomba nao tuwe calculator yako andika 109900 toa 82 27 kwa maana kwamba kabla ya maafa haya na Nord Stream kulipuliwa wao walikuwa nasema wanapata bilioni 27 lakini kuna ongezeko la bilioni 82 yani zaidi ya mara tatu ya walichokuwa nakipata so mwaka huu wataingiza zaidi ya 109 billion US dollars je unaonaje mtiririko huu so far Euro News ina report Baltic pipe pipe mpya ya, ya Baltic Norway Poland gas pipeline opens in key move to cut dependency on Russia kwamba pipe mpya imezinduliwa ambayo itakuwa kati ya Norway na Poland hizi nchi zote mbili ni nchi ambazo ziko wazi wazi zinamchukia mrusi uh, kwa hiyo kuna pipeline mpya ambayo itakuepo in key move to cut dependency on Russia yote hii ni kwa ajili ya kukata dependency on Russia kumtegemea mrusi. Haya yote yametokea baada ya mlipuko wa Nord Stream 1 and 2. So hapo tumekava baadhi ya maeneo jinsi ilivyofanyika nani aliyefanya, muda gani ambao ilifanyika, watu gani ambao wanafaidika. Sasa naomba tuingie na malizia sehemu ya mwisho ambayo ni reactions. Kabla na baada. Alafu na kuachia wewe mwenyewe ujaji au unipe mtazamo wako tukutane kwenye comment section to discuss baada ya mlipuko kutokea former polish foreign minister alikuwa waziri wa mambo nje wa poland radek sikowski a member of several nato think tanks ambaye ni mmoja wa wanatafakari wa nato 
who is married to a prominent US foreign policy commentator Anna Applebaum huyu wazi aliyekuwa waziri wa mambo ya nje ameoa Marekani ambaye huwa na ni commentator au mchambuzi wa foreign policy policy kwa kweli inantoka naomba unisaidie kwenye Kiswahili chake foreign policy wa Marekani suggested openly that Washington was behind the bombing kwamba Marekani ndo aliyohusika na ulipuaji huu He tweeted na akaandika kwenye tweet A picture of the gush of natural gas with the label so alituma picha ya eneo ambalo gasi ndio ilikuwa inatoka na kuandika hivi Thank you USA Asante Marekani He added Now sasa hivi 20 billions of scrap metal Vyuma venye thamani zaidi ya bilioni 20 lies at the bottom of the sea vipo vimelala katika sakafu ya bahari Another cost to Russia of its criminal decision to invade Ukraine moja ya gharama zingine za mrusi kuivamia Ukraine Hindo reaction secretary of state wa Marekani baada mlipuko huu hayo ndo maneno aliyoyasema How did the US react to sabotage of Nord Stream So US ili react vipi baada ya mlipuko ule It's a tremendous opportunity anasema hii ni fursa kubwa sana to once and for all kumaliza kabisa kumtegemea mrusi kwa ajili ya nishati and thus to take away from Vladimir Putin before niliongea kwamba lengo ni Putin so hivi vita siku zote vikitajwa huwa vinahusishwa na Putin 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 kwa sababu ndio lengo lakini akiongelea Ukraine usikii na usishwa na Zelensky usikia Ukraine 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 so hapa wanasema thus to take away from Vladimir Putin kwa hiyo kuondoa kutoka kwa Vladimir Putin the weaponization of energy alivyokuwa anaigeuza nishati kama silaha as a means of advancing his imperial design uh, fikia malengo yake huyo ni secretary of US hiyo ndo reaction yake baada ya mlipuko Victoria Nuland baada ya mlipuko huo kwenye senate hayo ndo maneno aliyoyasema tumsikilize Senator Cruz uh Ana Senator Cruz Like you uh, Anasema kama wewe Senator Cruz mimi kama wewe I am and I think the administration is very gratified to know Na anasema pia serikali is gratified wamefurahi that Nord Stream 2 is now as you like to say uh -huh. Wamefurahi kama wewe ambaye anasema Senator Cruz kama wewe unavyopenda kusema ni vyuma ambavyo viko chini ya sakafu ya bahari. Hiyo ni reaction viongozi wa Marekani baada ya mlipuko huo. Hawa ni viongozi wa Marekani kabla ya mlipuko huo. Naomba tuwasikilize. Mmoja baada ya mwingine. Hii ni compilation ni video ambazo zimekusanywa sehemu nyingi tofauti tofauti na ni viongozi wengi katika nyakati tofauti tofauti wakiongelea uh, Nord Stream 2 pipeline. Huyu ni Senator John Barasco, Energy Policy. Msikia anachokisema. The sledgehammer that we have against Putin is to shut down the Nord Stream 2 pipeline and do it permanently. Anasema nyundo ya kumaliza Putin tulionayo ni kuifunga na ku shut down, ni kuizima Nord Stream 2 pipeline na kuifunga once and for all kwamba isifanye tena kazi. Huyu ni Senator. Senator Ted Cruz mwingine naye msikiliza anavyosema. This is a real acute and proven threat. Anasema hii ni hatari ambayo ni wazi na inaonekana. This is a real acute and proven threat. Kwa Ted Cruz anaiongelea Nord Stream 2 pipeline kwamba hii ni hatari kwa policy za Marekani na maslahi ya Marekani na hatari hii kwa wazi. I am a big proponent of uh, making sure we stop Nord Stream 2 from from happening. Uri Galego na anasema inabidi tuizuie Nord Stream 2 isiendelee. Stop Nord Stream 2 from from happening. Stopping the Nord Stream 2. Senator Masha Blackburn tuizuie Nord Stream 2. Nord Stream 2. We need 
how I want to. Chancellor is there right now. Uh, assets like the Nord Stream 2. And, you know, Trump also isn't wrong to identify yeah. Nord Stream 2, this pipeline that pipeline. he talked about today, as problematic. There is still time to stop Nord. Senator Ted Cruz, anasema bado kuna muda kuizuia Nord Stream 2. Na huyu Ted Cruz ndo yule ambaye Victoria Nuland alikuwa anamjibu. Akasema mimi kama wewe na uongozi wa serikali wote tumefurahi kwamba pipe ya Nord Stream sasa hivi imegeuka kama uh, scraper za machuma chini ya sakafu ya bahari. Stream 2 if we act quickly. The timeline for action is short. And I'm not going to stop working to halt Nord Stream 2 to stop rut. Na anasema sitosimama mpaka nihakikisha kwamba Nord Stream 2 imesimamishwa in the once and for all I mean he needs to kill the keys uh, the North Stream uh, North Stream True pipeline right Uni senator mwingine maana anasema inabidi you have to kill to you and North Stream 2 pipeline Now and I think the most important thing right now and what Zelensky said is they want Nord Stream 2 stopped mm. that's what I see as the most tangible reason and the tangible uh, effect to... I believe what are anasema kwamba Nord Stream 2 imalizwe We must stop this Nord Stream 2 pipeline. And we should have brought the project to an end. There's still time to stop it, but we need to act quickly. Nord Stream 2 is danger, is a danger to peace as we know it. Nord Stream 2 is energy blackmail. It's Putin's pipeline, it's a trap uh, for the a Russian trap. There will be, uh, we, there will be no longer a Nord Stream 2. We, we will bring an end to it. Joe Biden has said that he has Nord Stream 2 to Taimaliza. No longer a Nord Stream 2. We, we will bring an end to it. We will put an end to it. Well, we're going to we put an end to it. Taimaliza. Germany should cancel the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline. Uh, we're looking at a variety of things we could do there. We've been so far using trying to use other tools to stop the Nord Stream 2. And we got legislation that was appropriate. Excuse me, Mike Pompeo, sasa huyu, anavyongea. The two and now have delayed this project significantly. We need further tools. We're prepared to use those tools should you provide them. Anasema vifaa au miundombinu ya kuisimamisha au kuiua Nord Stream 2 tunayo. Tunahitaji ruksa zenu kwa ajili ya kuimaliza Nord Stream 2 pipeline. Uh, to us uh, and, and we've also used our diplomatic capabilities. Yes. Afa msia hapo We've also used our diplomatic capabilities. Kwa hiyo utakuja kuelewa kwamba anachokiongelea hivyo vifaa sio diplomatic. Diplomatic ni vifaa vya kidiplomasia ki kwamba kwa maongezi. Opposite ya kidiplomasia maana yake ni nini mwanafuse? Naomba ujiulize. Kwa hiyo akasema wana vifaa na miundo mbinu ya kuweza kuiua wa Nord Stream pipeline, lakini upande wa pili kwamba wamejaribu pia kutumia njia za kidiplomasia. Sasa naomba nikuulize mwanafuse unadhani anamaanisha nini? pipeline must be stopped and the only way to prevent the completion is to use all the tools available Ted Cruz anasema kwamba Nord Stream 2 pipeline inatakiwa isimamishwe na isiendelee na isikamilike na tutumie nyenzo zozote ambazo zitahitajika Unadhani anamaanisha nini akisema nyenzo zozote to do that If Russia invades Ukraine Mskize Nuland, anasema kama urusi wataivamia Ukraine One way or another, nor Kwa njia moja au nyingine Nord Stream 2 will not move forward Nord Stream 2 haito endelea Kill Nord Stream 2 Huyu, Senator Tom Cotton haya anasema uwa Nord Stream Now, and let it rust beneath the waves of the Baltic Yani huyu nadhani ndo kaeka wazi kabisa Anasema uwa Nord Stream na iache irust ishike kutu chini ya sakafu ya bahari. The operator of the Nord Stream gas pipelines which run between Russia and Germany sits at three lines in the Baltic Sahi ni baada ya mlipuko huo sasa. Seabed was damaged on Tuesday. It was a, a deliberate act of sabotage and now the Russians are pumping out disinformation live. This is Unasikia sasa baada ya kulipuka wanaanza ku react wanasema no uh, ni sabotage sabotage ni uh, ni semeje naomba nisaidie maana sabotage uh, kwa hiyo ni sabotage wanasema ni warusi ndio wahusika 
it's uh, clearly a, a, an act of sabotage of some sort, and, and Russia is certainly the most likely uh, suspect. And we killed that pipeline dead. Senator Ted Cruz anasema we killed that pipeline dead. Kwamba tumeyua yo pipeline imekufa. So, na kuuliza mwana Fuse to discuss hapo chini. Unadhani nani ni muusika kwenye ulipuwa jihu. Na ni nani ambaya nafaidika zaidi na ulipuwa jihu. Jie ni mbrusi kalipuwa pipeline yake mwenyewe. Ambaya alichutumia zaidi ya bilion 22 kuijenga between ye na mjerumani. Je, yeah, unadhani ni Mjerumani ametoa go ahead kwa sababu so far baada ya kutoka report Mjerumani hajaongea neno lolote. Kwa nini yuko kimya? Na kwa nini nchi zingine nazo ziko kimya? Mara nyingi kitokea maafa utasikia umoja wa taifa natakiwa ndio kafanye uh, ukaguzi, natakiwa tu ndio kafanye uchunguzi Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan, nchi za Afrika, sehemu zote Watu huwa anataka kwenda kufanya uchunguzi lakini kwa nini hii hatujasikia nchi sio moja wa mataifa sio moja wa Ulaya sio Ujerumani sio nchi yote ambazo zimesema tutengeneze a coalition of countries muungano wa nchi ambazo ni independent ambazo ziko huru ziende zikafanya uchunguzi Mrusi alijibu kwenye balozi yake we note the attempts by some US legislators to put blame on Russia for the incident that occurred on Nord Stream 1 and Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline. Tumeona baadhi ya viongozi wa Marekani wanataka kutuwekia lawama sisi kwa mlipuko wa Nord Stream 1 and 2. Perhaps labda they have a better view from the top of the Capitol Hill. Huenda wao Capitol Hill ndio sehemu ambayo policies za Marekani huwa they are made there. Wenda wao wanajua, wanajua uhalisia zaidi ya situ sisi. But if that is the case, na kama hiyo ndo hali halisi kwamba wao wanajua zaidi, they might also have seen the U.S. worship activities at the very site of Russian infrastructure disruption just the day before. Lakini pia, kwa vila wao waneza kwa wanajua hii, lakini pia wanajua kwamba kukua kuna meli za kijeshi, za kivita za Marekani zikia katika eneo hilo eneo la tukio kwenye infrastructure za kirusi katika hizo pipeline or notice drones and helicopters flying over au pia waliona drones na helicopters zilikuwa zina ruka eneo hilo or observed US Navy exercise with underwater explosives au pia waliona kwamba mazoezi ya kijeshi ya Marekani ya chini ya maji wakiwa na milipuko ambavyo mazoezi yao yalifanyika katika eneo la tukio muda kidogo finally they should have recalled the promises made by president to bring an end to the Nord Stream 2 project vile vile wakumbuke ahadi iliyotolewa na Biden kwamba wataimaliza au ataisimamisha Nord Stream 2 pipeline if russia invades uh, that means tanks or troops crossing the, uh, the, the border of Ukraine uh, again, then uh, there, will be, uh, we, there will be no longer a North Stream 2. We, we will bring an end to it. Joe Biden wa Marekana nasema, lao, na hii ni kabla vita. Urusi wa kiivamia Ukraine, vifaru vyao na vifaru vyao vya kijeshi viki inge Ukraine, hakuto kuwa tena kuna North Stream 2 pipeline. Tuta... Imaliza. But, do, but how will you how will you do that exactly? Since the project and control of the project is within Germany's control. Sa akaulizo swali utaifanya jiyo kwa sababu ni ni hamna mamlaka mo ni mamlaka na control wa mradiuo ni ujerumani skilizal chokidi. We will. Uh, I promise you, we'll be able to do it. Kasema tutaifanya na kuahidi kwamba tuta, tutaweza kuifanya kwa mana kwamba tutaweza kuimaliza. So, mwana Fuse, nenda ka pitia report ya Saimo Hash, pitia baadhi ya hivi uh, vyelelezo, then tukutani kwenye comment section, unadhani nani aliyehusika Je ni baati mbaya zimelipuka zile paipu, je ni mbrusi karipua paipu zake, ni marekani na Norway ndo waliusika kuilipua hiyo Nord Stream 1 and 2, kama ripoti ilivyosema je unadhani nani ambaye anafaidika zaidi na ulipuaji huo 
Fuse Military. It's your take it DJ Smart 255 tukutane kwenye comment section. Hapa hapa S N S.